Greetings everyone, the good tonight here, and today we're making an absolute abomination of different gear. So, GMR map. Currently we are Sans, Plate Carrier, and Chest Rig for that matter, so we don't have a whole lot to carry gear right now. So, what we've been doing is, this is a comfy pain shirt by the way, for those wondering, really cheap. What we've been doing is we took our GMR minimap, well, my GMR minimap, comrade, I'm watching you. Keep that socialism away from me. We have we have our GMR minimap with our motivating patches and anime waifus. And what we've done is we put our radio in here because communication is important. And our wire radio wire runs over our two uh they call them smoke grenade pouches by Eagle Industries, but really they're Lacroix Lacroix. I think I heard it pronounced Lacroix carriers. So extra hydration. A la Air Force, by the way. I'm not Air Force, but I mean, if you know enough of them, you learn these cool tricks, so. We got this pack going. We got a radio. The radio is nice and velcroed in that one area. And what we did, instead of getting the three-point GMR straps, which were more expensive for no reason, and I don't really care for them, we went back to Twin Needle, the mini-map pack company that we moved away from, but we went with their mini-map straps here. So these are the little low-profile ones. They got the mesh venting covers, which is good. They're very, they're not really super padded, but they're comfy and a mini map. If your mini map's heavy and it just has gear sprawling out all over the place, you're not doing mini map right. Let's, uh, let's put it that way. But it's not just that. These come with these little uh, clippies here for routing stuff and putting little attachments and stuff. I didn't really care for them because I have nothing to put in there and there's no removal portion in here. What we did was we took our old, old, old Camelback chest clip and we mounted that on here. So let's go ahead and we're gonna throw this on real quick because mini maps are nice and light and comfy. Even though there's nothing in it which also contributes to its overall comfort. But with these straps you can actually put quite a bit in there and still be relatively comfortable. They're relatively wide albeit unpadded for what they do. And we had our Camelback clip there and we're nice and comfy. If you look here we took one of our little uh, I can't remember what these are called. These are like these little shock cord clip things because I took the metal clip off of the uh, radio thing a long time ago. So we got that going. We got this running up through here. And that way we can still access comms. And it's low enough to be out of the way of rifles. And yeah, ultimately it's pretty comfortable. So we got our hydration backups on the side there. And yeah, so it's a unique mixture of the original, well, G Gen 1 GMR mini map pack. Wind needle straps, and then our camelback of all things chest clip because it was already available. Now, what happened was, story for this is I got this camelback back when I was still in my enlisted days of intense alcoholism and depression <laughs> because uh, my earlier camelback exploded when I was out running one rainy day. There's a bunch of oil on the side of the road and busted up my hand nice and nasty, as you can see this sexy scar here. So with the camel back out of service, me not wanting to go to SIF to get replaced, I went and bought myself a new one prior to getting the ambush, which is by far superior in my opinion, because you can put stuff in the little back pocket here. So with all that set up, we can actually, let me test this. This is about as far as I've tested anything. I want to see how it works with the helmet and everything. So pop this boy open real quick. But yeah, so as far as just a basic camelback setup, we can carry extra mags and everything in here. We're not going to get a lot of very fast reloads or anything per se, but it would be pretty comfy. So, there we go. Helmet's on. Let me see where's my... I keep the cable back here somewhere. Let me go ahead and move these out of the way. Do, 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 do. There it is. So we take our boy here. We plug him in here. And we've established comms. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna turn these on. This is really uncomfortable with just normal glasses. I really need to get laser going. So there we go, those are on. Now we take our lovely rifle boy here. It's looking pretty good nowadays because we added more uh, idiot proof instructions. Pop this boy here. And yeah, so now we've got a very, very light wander around the woods and do things sort of set up. Now, this will be a bit better with a chest rig and everything. 
or uh, plate carrier. One of the big things, plate carrier wise, is if you're running a uh, plate carrier and you want to put a mini map or some type of pack on there, one of the highly advisable things is to keep it on straps, which I was missing originally. Alright, hold on. That's going to bother me. It's to keep it on straps because that way, if you need to get into a vehicle or you need to get anything out of the pack, instead of asking your buddy to help you out, you can just pop that off real quick, undoing the chest and everything. You have to set the rifle down, but you'll be able to get access to it, and you'll have access to all the stuff and goodies you got in there, so that's cool. What is this under? Get out of there. Okay. So, ooh, cozy. God, I hate glasses. So yeah, we got a cool setup here. We've got this going on. Let me actually loosen this up a bit. So you can left hand transition, yeah, so actually I found this fun little trick, so bearing in mind that you are a camera and I'm not flagging you right now, generally when you're doing airsoft and stuff, you would come around the corner and you have your hand out and you've got all this exposed to get shot. If you use the vertical grip in a more unadvisable way and you actually put your forearm up against the magazine and everything, you can actually pop the rifle up over the corner, look down the side here, so point shooting, and you can actually get the rifle out there and go pop, 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 while exposing less of yourself. Because you got here, this is what I'm... This is just my idea. Don't quote me, I'm no weapons master or any craziness, but as you can see, the barrel is ahead of the hand and the weapon's tilted, as opposed to having the hand up here, which, albeit has better control and access to the light, it leaves less of our hand to get shot. So, I can give you a guesstimate that'll work well for airsoft as far as actual firearms. I wouldn't try it until it's been tested a bit more. But yeah, as far as your vertical grip goes, that's a cool little trick we found. I found well, I found. You gotta stop saying we, comrade. You gotta stop saying we. We, we. Speaking of look girl. So, yeah, there we go. We got a cool little setup here without a lot of extra ammo, so we're going to have to be really careful about that. But yeah, so I just kind of want to show you guys off, or show you guys that cool little trick we got going, both the rifle and the uh, pack, so cool stuff, cool stuff. And uh, yeah, this is really comfy. Ooh, loosen that up a bit. Should probably move this down a bit lower just to make it more viable. Oh yeah, and the other cool thing is it's got the quick detach straps here. So if you're out, you're doing things, you go, Oh, I really need to get to my bag. I don't even have time to take my rifle off. Plink. Although, watch out for the uh, cable, which I should have unplugged before I did that. There's a lot of things you need to think about before you do things. And uh, that's one of them. Again, I told you, I haven't tested out past this point, so... Ah! And we're free. They're free of the pack. So yeah, just some uh, cool things there. This helmet's getting in the way of my glasses, so I need to go get LASIK. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, we got a cool little setup going there. And I just wanted to share that with you guys, so... Hope you guys are all doing well. I'm not getting nearly enough sleep. Because the family size has increased by one, so... Yay. But yeah, other than that, everything's going well. Other things I'm working on is making the rifle sexier. As we've moved our Magpul sling mount up here. So this is nice, and it gives you a bit better uh, maneuverability and control over the weapon. Because it's sitting way too low earlier, and this way you can actually stand there we go. That's a bit more comfortable, and we also got a far more vertical Magpul design pistol grips. So this is far more, so the backwards one, this is far more forward and aggressive. So when you're holding it like this, it actually reminds me a lot of uh, the MP7 I used to have, which also had a very aggressive grip, which is great for some machine guns. And I guess for shorter barrel point defense weapons, because it really helps you. There's better ways to articulate this than just, ah! but it really helps you push in and forward toward the weapon. So it feels really good. I like it. But particularly what I really like is not having that nub between these fingers. So cool stuff. We can get all sorts of fun work done with this. What we're missing right now is ammo. <laughs> I got my uh, pistol mags, two pistol mags here. And so we got a GMR elastic cover thing going on. So it's out of the way and not interfering with our mags. But 
We're only going to really be carrying one rifle mag at this rate, although we could keep another one in our cargo pocket down here. Pretty ghetto, but better than not having any ammo, right? Yeah, so. Once you put propane through this gun, you'll never get rid of the smell of propane. That's my last bit of advice, so. Yeah, that's all I got for you guys. This patch is amazing, even though it contributes very, very little to the functionality of the gun. It's more of the implications that fill me with glee, so. That's all I got for you guys. Hope everything's going good on your end. I am feeling pretty fantastic, and I am going to go eat a bagel. So, cheers, stay chivalrous, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.